uh, transition to democracy, the healthy debate. How is this mirrored in the Turkish press and how are investors reading uh, the situation in the country? Well, I will say uh, there are not, no mixed feelings. First of all, I think uh, Egyptian nation mm -hmm. uh, has uh, made history once again. Mm -hmm. And Egypt has uh, put itself in the in a very central piece in the world uh, world political map, and uh, the outcome of the transitional process uh, into a pluralistic, viable, balanced democratic rule is going to have a multiplier and stabilizer effect beyond Egypt's borders. There is no doubt about that. Uh, uh, but uh, from the point of view of the investors, uh, the international uh, uh, finances, uh, the uh, foreign money uh, is easily scarable. Mm -hmm. So uh, essential thing is people would like to see a clear vision, mm -hmm. a broad vision, not for immediate future, but uh, in, a, in an acceptable mid and long term. Mm -hmm. And commitment by the uh, the ruling uh, power, the government structures, and the receptivity of the populace uh, to uh, and their amicable attitude to foreign uh, experience, and sufficient legal, financial guarantees and effective mechanisms. Uh, I would uh, I should say that in terms of uh, moving in the direction of economic reform, financial reform. Uh, encouraging investments, direct foreign investments. Egypt has covered significant distance. Uh, you should remember that your economy was growing uh, mm -hmm. between, you know, uh, four and a half and seven percent in the in the past several years, like until recently, and uh, this was a bi viable process. Uh, but uh, now the world is waiting to see what will be Egypt's message to the out outside world, whether the tourism investments will be sustained, uh, whether financial uh, investments in this country will have the freedom and legal guarantees and uh, the transparency and accountability. Uh, because the essential thing was that the money was coming to Egypt, but there was a problem of uh, distribution of the income in a more uh, uh, sustainable and socially uh, uh, improved fresh fashion so that all segments of the society should uh, reap the fruits of the the economic growth and development effort. I think there was a problem in, in terms of transparency and distribution of revenues uh, among the population, maybe some social responsibility projects and then uh, a better income uh, scheme would be uh, needed. Also, the issue of subsidies has been a major uh, debate uh, mm -hmm. within and outside uh, of Egypt. So all these issues uh, are awaiting now uh, answers from the new administration, from the future uh, rulers of Egypt. I do not uh, underestimate the numbers and the depth uh, of Egypt's uh, problems, economic and uh, structural and administrative issues. But definitely, uh, I think the Egyptian nation will have to resolve and it will show the flexibility to adjust itself to the realities and, uh, and emerge uh, once again uh, and, uh, as a glorious nation and even more powerful than uh, it used to be. We need a strong Egypt in the region. Mm, we hopefully. need a stable Egypt and we need a rapidly growing Egypt. Egypt has the manpower and has the civilizational roots uh, to promote that kind of uh, transformation. And uh, Turkey is standing by Egypt. We, we are going to remain, we will work, continue working with you, partnering with you, with your nation, people to people, government to government, state to state. I'll take from your words, uh, Your Excellency, people to people, we need to foster more on the cultural level and the touristic uh, field. What do you aspire to achieve more in that respect? I have a dream. I told it last week. Uh, we had a cultural show uh, at your National Opera House and uh, it was combined actually we had we brought a musical group mm -hmm. and then it was they were uh, crowned by your wonderful folklore uh, uh, provided by the Ministry of Culture and I was so impressed and I said the people of Egypt now would like to hear 
um, constructive messages of hope mm -hmm. instead of rage. Yeah, inspiration. Joy mm -hmm. instead of vengeance. Uh, and uh, peace and stability instead of uh, uh, depression and uh, despair. And I said, uh, let us give hand in hand and let us, uh, and I proposed it to, the, to your authorities there, that after the elections, once the transitional process is being completed, let us uh, give hand in hand and bring the best of the best from Turkey and the best of the best from Egypt, our music, our aesthetic values, our folkloric dances, uh, both our uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh values as well as our popular mm -hmm. modern Exposure. values. Let's bring them the together mm -hmm. and, and let's put up a lighted, huge platform uh, in Tahrir and invite the people I'll invite all the Great world to idea, watch, uh, let us say, mm -hmm. uh, one million to Tahrir for hope, for beauty, for tolerance, mm -hmm. for love, for friendship, for dialogue, ability, and for a better future. One million to Tahrir for all of these. Mm -hmm. If you're interested, I am ready to propose this to my authorities. Mm, this is a very noble cause and definitely it will reflect uh, positively on relations, uh, going for that noble cause definitely is a plus. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, uh, we talked about uh, fostering the cultural sector, the touristic sector. Yes. Are you aspiring more for the uh, trade and economic uh, cooperation? One sector? thing about tourism, mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. uh, I have proposed, and, and yesterday I was talking to your Minister of Tourism, mm -hmm. let us start working on the concept of you know, having uh, people coming to the pyramids Mm -hmm. go to Antalya in southern Turkey and people coming to see uh, Sultan Ahmed, the Suleymaniye or the Hagia Sophia mosques in Istanbul to come to, to the Red Sea resorts in Sharm el Sheikh in Urgada and let's organize combined uh, tours. In the economic field I think uh, we can multiply trade. Good news for this year, January April figures indicate to between uh, 80 hundred percent net increase mm -hmm. we're on the right path in the trade but we must revive uh, the industrial investments mm -hmm. some of our investors are developing uh, some hesitation and second thoughts uh, I know uh, Egyptian economy will need immediate attention and mm -hmm. there will be lots and lots of problems and difficulties ahead of us but we shouldn't be afraid of them we should be committed to work together and we are committed to work with you Great. Uh, talking about um, another issue that pops up, which is women empowerment. How are you doing in Turkey on the road of women empowerment? We don't have enough women in our parliament, I mm -hmm. will confess. And this is a very important loophole. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, we should uh, encourage women in Turkey uh, to be more active in the political life, but in social life, in professional life in academic life, mm -hmm. on the streets, in the universities, in the shops, in the factories, Turkish women are very, and in the, in the field, in the yeah, agriculture, are very they are still yeah. very uh, active and mm -hmm. engaged. Uh, women, when we're talking about women, it's the other half of the society. It's the beautiful half. Women are after God. They are the second creative power of mankind. And what, of course, uh, as mothers and as housekeepers they are wonderful and they will always undertake but women are have also the same capacity of contributing to social life in every uh, aspect of it in every segment of the society we need to empower women and again uh, that brings me back to my, my keyword education 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 and we need to increase our, our women's self-confidence and and uh, we don't need to, they don't need our mercy. Mm -hmm. Women, they don't need our mercy. Women need us to recognize them, mm -hmm. appreciate recognize them, their potential. And, and, mm -hmm. and accept and work with their potential. Great. Mr. Ambassador, uh, uh, from the empowerment of women to the empowerment of youth and in the field of human resources, are there uh, some sort of agreements, for instance, for encouraging SMEs, small and medium-sized projects? This is crucial because mm -hmm. uh, uh, SMEs uh, are the, 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 the latest fashion in promoting economic recovery and uh, mobilizing national resources 
and attracting mm -hmm. uh, outside investment, but more important that, than that, uh, having rapid solutions and rapid results. Uh, when you're talking about a uh, half a billion dollar program or a project, an uh, integrated uh, power plant, it takes several years to build it. Egypt needs results tomorrow. Egypt needs one million house, new homes, uh, social low-cost housing for the next 10 years, uh, maybe even less than that, maybe in the next five years. Egypt needs to create five to 700,000 new jobs every year for the next 10 years so that it can remove, uh, provide the basis for these people out on the streets to participate in rebuilding the country and to feel engaged rather than enraged. So people are, uh, need, they, they are in tremendous need of new hope, but only hope is not enough. There has to be concrete progress, uh, progress that people should see that their life is actually improving. The young people, they need, to, they need engagement, they need hobbies, and uh, some of it must be productive hobbies, and mm -hmm. some of it must be creative aesthetic hobbies. While educating them, uh, we should uh, help them participate in the country's cultural life, and then on the other hand, they, we should make them or oh, give them the sense of ownership, mm -hmm. uh, the sense of uh, ownership and responsibility of the future. So uh, these are uh, very difficult tasks, but I think Egyptians will be able to meet the challenges of the 21st century. There is, we don't have the luxury of failure. Right, we, we don't have it, yes. We are adamant for change and we are adamant for success. Um, Mr. Ambassador, uh, well, we talked about uh, Turkey with the West, Turkey with the Arab world, Turkey in Africa, and that was quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Uh, tell us more about um, Turkey's dynamics in Africa, because Egypt actually after the revolution is also uh, hard beating for Africa as well. We were late, uh, were late in uh, looking into Africa. Africa is going to be the center of attention for the next 50 years. Mm -hmm. And Africa is going to be the number one uh, uh, sources for uh, reviving and sustaining global economy and growth and also uh, at the same time rebuilding itself and Africa has faced a lot of uh, injustices throughout the colonization and now Africa needs to raise uh, rise up and and uh, catch up with the rest of the the, the global system uh, we have a strategic action plan as you know in uh, we started uh, in 2005 2008 we had the plan and then we had the the year of Africa in 2010, African Union uh, declared Turkey as a strategic partner. And then we had the Istanbul summit. And uh, what happened is actually in less than five years, throughout the last five years, our bilateral trade with Africa uh, exceeded $15 billion. Mm -hmm. uh, and. Uh, this year, currently, we have 27 embassies, and I, soon we will have 35 embassies in Africa. That is about two-thirds of the African continent. And uh, we see Egypt as a strategic gate, as a strategic partner, both due to its location, due to its historic connections, due to Nile Basin, civilizational base, and due to Egyptian uh, Afro-Arab dual identity and its Mediterranean uh, role and mm -hmm. uh, we don't see Egypt only as a gate but as a partner because Egypt has also uh, lots of uh, qualified labor contracting capabilities uh, and the transport infrastructure uh, will facilitate Turkey's uh, you know cooperation with Africa Egyptian mm -hmm. bilateral trade with Africa is between five to six billion dollars together with Turkey it's so right. Turkey, Egypt, yeah. uh, Egypt is an important country. Uh, its voice is always heard as a leader of the region, as a strategic center, as a partner. And so is Turkey. But I say uh, when uh, Turkey and Egypt talk together, it is not only heard, but it is to be listened to. Right. And I say when Turks and Egyptians embrace, the sun rises with a different sign above the skies of the Mediterranean. 